Yahoo, Roth here, and I've got a interesting quick video for you guys. Something just came in from J.A. Pan that I actually almost didn't know what it was. Um, it got drop shipped um, and then shipped to the U.S., but it was basically just in this, which I think is its actual retail packaging since how I opened it, and then uh, in some plastic wrap essentially, like just a plastic bag, not even a padded one. So what this is, obviously it's Bosch, uh, Robert Bosch. Um, for uh, reference, they're one of the still not like super corporate shill owned tool brands. I do like their stuff. I am use mostly Milwaukee though, as they have more of the tools I like, and they have some of the better, uh, I know everybody uses the same batteries essentially, but they tend to have better batteries actually and higher capacities, brushless and 12 volt, et cetera, et cetera. I like their stuff. Bosch does though have some unique tools. What this is, um, and it came like this, like I think, and then this was just in um, a, uh, on, not even an envelope, just like plastic bag essentially. Um, there you go, Bosch Professional Go. Um, And this has to come out of Japan, like this specific model. The important part right there is that the, uh, you can adjust the torque. And that, for building PCs, you need that. Um, and it's basically an electric screwdriver in screwdriver form. Um, now, you'll see a lot of Bosch goes. It's also sold uh, under the Dremel name in the U.S., since Bosch does own Dremel now. However, you specifically want the Bosch Go 2. Or I think it's Bosch 2 Go, but it's technically the Bosch Go Gen 2. Um, and let's crack this open. I had to cut right there. That's how I think that this is a retail packaging. Realistically, you wouldn't want to keep it in here anyway. There you go. So here's the product. It's an electric screwdriver. Um, these used to be much, much more popular back in like the 90s. Um, now not so much, uh, but for building PCs, um, I do some like 8 volt, 4 volt stuff, but this, this seemed really, really interesting, especially once I found out I could order it, uh, with the adjustable torque. Um, and I have, I did test it, I needed to fix a cabinet door, so we used this thing just to see how well it worked. So there's a picture. So basically it's saying forward and back. There right there, see forward back. And then push down and it'll either screw or unscrew. So it's got a sensor. Um, and then there's also, and then the, that turny bit right there, that's the important part, why I needed the Go version two. Because I don't want to use it on a PC without that, like the Dremel version does, and crush things. Uh, I've also seen people with the 8 volt DeWalt that doesn't have the adjustable chuck. It's like 20 bucks or less more. I think 20 bucks with two batteries more if you get the adjustable chuck. Um, and much better tool. Uh, the other thing is if you use the power button, it will obviously go as well. So let's take a look here. This is why I think, well, this is definitely the sales case and not like a carrying case because this is an utter waste of space. But. So if we go forward, it's not charged really right now, but if you press the button, it goes. Um, and then, uh, well, Hamlet's here. How's it going, Hamlet? Let's grab one of these bits here. Let's put it in forward. It's going to be a bit awkward. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push down on the bit. You see how it, it auto goes. And then, like I said, the reason why I got this one is because it has the adjustable. Oh, very hard to do this one handed. You can hear it adjusting, but there you go. You got the adjustable torque. It's not a drill, but you, know, you just. You just push in. Um, nice for building PCs, nice and quick, especially with the um, 
you know, torque adjusting. And I saw this, and uh, once watching too much ABE once again. I don't know if he's had this specific thing, but it, it made me do some searching. And uh, then I found this one, and it was I did was able to get it through Amazon, and I think a company just drop shipped it from Japan, and then Amazon shipped it from there, because uh, that's kind of like what the packaging said is something drop ship. And then if you if you're in a place where you can't push and you need to you need to go still, you can use the power button. And then it does just power off of a micro USB B port there. Really wish that was. Type C, but yeah, what you gonna do? Um, I'm thinking that I mean, there's just two screws in the back there, and this is just the three point, like basically a four volt. So it's probably a, a single 18650 in there. So it shouldn't be too hard to, you know, if the battery goes or something like that, shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Um, just thought you guys might be interested. Oh, and it does have the uh, Japanese Bosch seal on there. Um, Bosch Go. It doesn't mention V2 on the actual tool, but make sure if you want the one with the adjustable chuck, you look up the 2 or the version 2. Um, there you go. So, hopefully you guys found this interesting. Um, and uh, I guess Hamlet found it I was on the floor and wanted some attention. So, we'll see you in the next one.